The first documented black educator dates back to the 1800s. Susie King Taylor is the first black teacher to openly teach in a school for former slaves. In the past 175 years, thousands have followed in her footsteps. The Black Educators Hall of Fame honors black teachers in Kansas. I sat down with founding members and inductees for this story. The demand for black educators in Kansas has lasted decades. As a retired uh, high school counselor, and I, some of our board members also are educators, then we could see the need. Janice Thacker founded the Black Educators Hall of Fame, honoring black teachers. The benefits are that students start to think about uh, teaching as a career. Her career as an educator is extensive. I started out as Truesdale as an art teacher, and then from Truesdale I went to White Plains, New York, uh, because they had a, had a riot in the school the year before, and the demand was they wanted more black teachers, so I was one of them. Educators are the foundation of everything. Board and member so Lola McLorian is also a retired teacher with nearly 40 years under her belt. My parents always said, no one can take your education away from you. A mantra she lives by and watches play out every year when the Black Educators Hall of Fame selects new members. Young people are always in the forefront of my mind. Retired health and physical education teacher Levanta Williams is a previous honoree. Inducted in 2019. She reflects on her time teaching and learning. We had a multitude of African-American teachers and we thought that was the norm until I went to high school. This eye-opening moment helped lead her to a career in education. What I went to was a place that's uh, called Hamilton Junior High. I taught there my entire career. A plethora of young learners graced her classrooms and no matter their origin, she looked for ways to connect. Teaching taught me patience. Teaching taught me the value of helping others see themselves in a different position than what they considered themselves. I'm going to always support public education. A similar story with Michael Bruce, a retired high school principal. On the night they became inductees in the Black Educators Hall of Fame, they were also gifted a sketched portrait, capturing them as their students remember. 2017. I was a principal in Metro Midtown. It's one of the most rewarding experiences I think I've ever had to see another educator being recognized. It feels good to be recognized by the students that I taught. And like a true instructor, no question is left unanswered. Does a retired teacher ever stop teaching? Absolutely not. <laughs> we never stop teaching. And we as teachers never stop learning. I loved sitting down with all of these educators. There are 10 new Black Educators Hall of Fame inductees for 2024. Mm -hmm. They're going to be honored in the annual event, which is on February 24th. So exciting, especially when you hear about the impact that they made mm -hmm. during their career. Yeah, and then each one had this lengthy career. So mm -hmm. Some took them to different places throughout the United States, as you just heard from Janice Thacker, the founder. It was so nice and an education session for me just to sit down and talk to all of them. Oh, wonderful story. And can't wait for the rest you have later this month. Yeah, thank you.